Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and ground. This is for the collective, for the collective. Okay, okay, okay. What's going on today? So let me go ahead and start off. This is the download that I got. This is the message that I got last night. Happy Friday, everybody. Aren't y'all glad it's the end of the week? For all of my weekend workers, keep it strong. Keep it strong. Come on, come on. It's going to be okay. But for everybody that worked the Monday through Friday, I'm glad it's Friday, okay? So, let's go ahead and get this all together. Let's see what we have. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. Okay, so this is the message that I got, you guys. It's, um, I'm talking to the man in the mirror. I'm asking you to change your ways. Y'all correct me if I'm whatever with the lyrics, but I was a huge Michael Jackson fan when I was growing up. I would jump up and down and all of that shit. So nostalgic. So this person definitely has some nostalgic memories about you. They've been getting some intuitive nudges all along, right? And they know that they have to work on themselves. So this is a person that really has some deep inner healing, inner childhood wounds, inner like lap mentality. Any, they got some motherfucking work to do. You got some work to do so this person definitely has got some work to do it's like a lot of has been unraveled to them and they've been seeing some shit for what the fuck it really truly is okay and it's like a reflection you know how it's always about mirroring and you know reflection and all that shit it's, it's definitely reflection and them taking time out to, to self-reflect on a lot of shit because they realize that you are very valuable they realize that you're very ambitious they're, you're very business-minded. And it's like, you're not determined to satisfy other people. You're a person that lives for you. You live for your happiness. You don't give a fuck. Like, you, like it's very hard to get in your energy to be able to even see how you move, right? You're very professional. We have the, the king of swords. But it's like, at this point, um, you, you pay attention to everything, right? You pay attention to a lot. What else? Holy Father, Spirit, guys, angels, answer. Okay, okay. Then we had the Page of Swords. And this flipped over. Okay. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Okay. So we had the Page of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So somebody definitely has been very manipulative to you. And they realize that. They realize that they've been very manipulative. And we have the King of Pentacles. And they've been focusing so much on... Not changing on, on what really doesn't matter. You know, like what I said at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, any damn time of the day, trying to satisfy other people and trying to live for other people. None of that shit fucking matters, right? You should be living for yourself. You should be living for your abundance because... At the end of the day, any damn time, right? It's always going to be just you. That's what I always say. It's always just you because nobody else ever, they don't matter. They don't matter. It's all about you. And, and it's, it can sound very selfish, but you have to realize that it's all about you to understand. Like, once you start putting all the emphasis on yourself, a lot of shit changes. Two of Cups. Yeah, this person realized they were very manipulative to you, to you in the past. If I could talk, y'all. But they want to reconcile with you. Because there's, they know that there's some type of contract here that y'all should have be working together to create an empire that they didn't follow through. This is a person from your past. Nostalgic memories, goodwill, kindness, all that. There's been a lot of time in their life where they were not wanting to let go. They were, they were stuck and stagnant. Then we have the three of wands. They're looking for assistance. They're trying to gain that confidence because this person can put off like they're really confident, but really they're, they have insecurities within themselves that they need to work on. A lot of that mirroring shit is insecurities within them, in themselves. 
Then we have the Four of Pentacles, and they've been very much so withholding. Very much so withholding, but still poss possessive in their mind. And stingy, and they can have attitudes with it, right? Then we have the Six of Swords. So it's like, regardless, they're trying to restore a lot within themselves. They're trying to look within themselves. They're talking to the man in the mirror. They're talking to the motherfucking self. They're trying to heal a lot within themselves to be able to change and make way for greatness. But it's like Ace of Pentacles. They're manifesting new. They want, they want this new. They know that they have um, planted a seed somewhere, but they just have not watered it and nurtured it. And, you know, you talk to your plants. You know what the fuck? You, you know, if you want good results, you have to change the way the fuck you're doing things. You can't keep on moving the same motherfucking way and expect the same, I mean, expect some different shit, right? You keep on moving the same way, making the same mistakes over and over and over. And you're like, why? Why me? Pity me. And it's because you're doing the same shit over and over. Nine of Cups, King of Wands, the Hermit, Hierophant, Two of Swords, and Justice. So wishes will be fulfilled. It may take some inner solid, um, some solitude, some time by their motherfucking self, and that's okay because whenever it's too many people saying like whispers in your ear, talks in your ear, shouts in your ear, whatever the fuck, right? Whenever it's too many people doing that shit, it's not good because that just causes a lot of confusion, and you need to learn how to. Change the way your conscious mind is thinking and settle that shit all the fuck down and silence that shit to be able to gain the importance of really what the fuck is important. Gain to the understanding of what the fuck is really important. What the fuck are you really here for? What the fuck is it really about? Okay? Y'all know it's about unconditional love. It's about unconditional love. It's about happiness. It's, it's not about trying to please people please. It's not about trying to one-up somebody. It's not about, you know, keeping up with the Joneses or any type of shit like that. People keeping up with the Joneses is snorting coke every day till they damn die. You see everybody like, I'm going to be very damn honest with you. Like, people are dying everywhere. Whether, like, I know that y'all have recognized that whether it be drug overdoses, people just be in found places, whether it be COVID, which is for a motherfucking reason, y'all. Whether it be COVID, whether it be Whatever the fuck it may be. People are just dying, dropping like flies. It's, it's for a motherfucking reason. A lot of lessons need to be learned. It's, it's, people need to be still. It's time to be still and really listen and really not just listen, but make moves on what the fuck is really important in life. What are we spending our time on? What are we really caring about? What are we, what are we really doing with our time? What are we really accomplishing in our lives? Right? Is this 9 to 5 that got you boggled down that you can't even spend time with your family and shit like that that's very important? Like, what is it all about? It makes us really think. And it's not all about just thinking. It's about thinking and actually acting on that shit, right? So there's a lot of thinking to be had here. There's a, a, lot, of, um, a lot of changing your priorities. This person. It's a lot of that shit. And then, like, it's, it's a lot of balance because it's been a lot of diff difficult choices as well as indecisions. So there's no choice but to compromise and get out of your motherfucking head and look through your heart and understand the way to move towards your happiness, right? And that's going to lead to justice, fairness, truth, balance, accountability, like all of that shit. Okay, cut the deck on death and then eight of wands and then the moon and then the ace of swords then the four of wands then the chariot. Okay, so it's like an ending, a change, a transition with a lot. A lot of shit is changing. A lot of shit is transitioning. A lot of shit that's no longer for this person, it's got to be, it's gone. It's gone. They're working on that shit quick and fast and in a hurry so they can progress. They want progress. They want progress. They want progress. Okay, three times. And then we have the moon. So any of those fears, any of that lack mentality, because you know fear is an illusion. All it is is a motherfucking illusion. Once they realize that shit, what they're in the process of doing, they're getting mental clarity, ace of swords, mental clarity, breakthroughs, strength, and hard times. Then we have the four, four wands so they can go ahead and celebrate. And then the motherfucking chariot, I'm going to end it right there. The chariot, getting that mental and emotional control is verily, it's verily, merrily, merrily. <laughs> 
Okay, it's very important to get that balance amongst the two, right? And then once they get that balance amongst the two, where are they traveling? Towards motherfucking success. And where's success? You're the one glowing. You're the one shining. You're the one who showed that unconditional love. Success is you. Okay, baby. Okay, Chira. Okay, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to get your energy in. And don't forget to check out my website, energyllc.com. I will be having some newbies coming to my website very soon. All right. All right, all right, all right. As always, I just appreciate you guys so much. Peace, love, and namaste.